In today's crazy busy world, for many families, cooking dinner might mean picking up a pre-made dish from the grocery store to pop in the oven, getting pizza delivered, or going through a drive-thru on the way to a sporting event. Cooking as a family is so important, and that's what we want to talk about on today's show. Cooking as a family fosters family togetherness while you bond with your children, teaching the importance of healthy eating as they develop lifelong healthy habits and an appreciation for food, which is really important. On today's show, we have several special red clay guests that are going to be visiting with us, and it's all about cooking family style. I'm your host, Jessica Terranova, and let's get cooking. National School Lunch Week is a week set aside to celebrate the USDA National School Lunch Program, which the Red Clay School District participates in. The Nutrition Department for Red Clay hosted a recipe challenge where we asked students to submit their favorite family tradition recipes in hopes to encourage those students to get in the kitchen with their families and cook. So we had a lot of submissions from the elementary schools and we took our top six to have on this show the Red Clay Cook-Off family style. Justine Clark was one of our winners from Shortledge Elementary, and we went there to surprise him at his school where his mom and dad were also there, and it was super awesome. Let's take a sneak peek. I'm here today to announce one of our winners for our recipe contest, Justine Clark at Shortledge Elementary. He's here in the cafeteria, and I think he's super excited to find out why we are here from EdTV. So come on, come Okay, so I am here today because we had a recipe contest, and you submitted a recipe, right? Yeah, and we loved it. We loved. It. I'm so super excited to try and make it with you. Will you help come come make it with me on a recipe show? Yeah, and be on Ed TV with me. Oh, I'm super excited. So here is your certificate. Okay, you are very welcome. Can you show that? Give the camera a big old smile. Show the certificate. <laughs> Say yeah. You're gonna be a TV star on a cooking show. Super fun going to Shortledge that day, wasn't it? Did you have fun? Did you? Were you surprised? You were. Was it? Were you excited? Yeah? Yes. And who do you have with you today? I brought my mom. You brought your mom. Now, why did you bring your mom on the show? Cause that's the one I always help cook. You help your mom cook a lot. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Good. What's your favorite thing to do in the kitchen? I'm assuming since you're here, you like to cook, right? Yeah. Yes. So, what's your favorite thing to do in the kitchen? I like to, hmm, well, I like to cut up stuff. All right. Steer it. That's you like good. making the cupcakes? Mm-hmm. I heard your mom does a lot of baking. So you get to try a lot of the baking goods? Yeah. Are they pretty delicious? Yeah? <laughs> That's awesome. Now, mom, why do you, what brought you into this whole tradition of getting him in the kitchen with you? I just feel it's important. It's a good bonding tool with your children, help Absolutely. them cook in the kitchen, and it also shows them something new that they can learn, and when he gets older, he will know wow. how to cook. That's yeah. good. Use those skills later. Yes. That's awesome. So what recipe did you guys submit as part of the contest? Um, chicken casserole. Chicken casserole. Chicken casserole. Okay. And can you tell me a little bit about that recipe? What's, do you know, do, like how often do you guys eat that? Is that one of your, is that one of your family favorites? Yeah. Yeah? Like That's once good. a month. Once a month? Mm -hmm. Okay. And you help her, right? You help cook? That's good. So we're going to make that here today, the chicken casserole. Before we get started, though, I, you remember I brought you that, as you saw on the TV, we brought you that little gift bag, but I have something else for you. This is a necessity in the kitchen, is kitchen tongs, okay? Every good chef needs a pair of kitchen tongs. So I got you your own little pair. Thank Pretty you. awesome, right? <laughs> and then I got you your own apron. See? Thanks. And it says the Red Clay Family Cook-Off on it. So do you want to wear this today? Yes. Yeah. Is that good? Okay. I'll put it on. For today's cheesy chicken casserole recipe, here are a list of ingredients you will need to have on hand. One tablespoon of olive oil, quarter teaspoon of pepper, quarter teaspoon of salt, one to one and a half pounds of skinless, boneless chicken breasts. They will be cubed. One container of chicken flavored rice, two cups of shredded cheddar cheese, which I would recommend choosing the part skim variety, and one can of condensed Campbell's cheddar soup, 
Again, I would recommend choosing the Healthy Request variety to help save on a little sodium, fat, and calories. Okay, so let's get started. Now, in the recipe that you guys gave, we, you guys bake the chicken at home, right? Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take a little deviation and we're gonna saute the chicken just because this is the tool that we have today on the set. Is that okay? No yeah. problem. All right, so I'm gonna get the chicken. Here. Yes. All right, so what we're gonna do is just sprinkle a little bit of salt and pepper. Don't go heavy on the salt just because the, the dish has, does have a lot of salt in it. Now when you sprinkle, just sprinkle high, right over the chicken. Good. Get it nice and even. Make sure not to touch it, stay high. If you stay higher, it sprinkles down a little bit better. There you go. Awesome. Just do a little bit up here. Yeah, tops and bottoms. Spicy chicken. <laughs> now, Mom, do you guys sometimes deviate from the actual recipe itself? We're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this real That's quick. Enough. That's, enough. That's enough, we're going a little heavy on the, on the pepper. Do you guys <laughs> usually deviate? I heard, you, well, I'm thinking of it because you said sometimes you guys do different recipes where you um, add a little kick to the yeah, recipe. sometimes what? I add, um, when I bake the chicken, I pour um, Italian dressing on there ah, okay. and also some honey and I put some green peppers and onions in it. Okay, now we'll grab a little green peppers and onions, that sounds good. A little bit high, stay high with the salt and we don't want to add a lot of salt because this dish with the ingredients that are in there, whoops, I think I just salted your sleeve. That's <laughs> okay. okay. That's, That's okay. Enough. That's enough salt. Yeah, I think yeah. we're good on the salt and pepper. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I have some canola oil here. You could, you could cook with different kinds of oil, but canola oil and olive oil are probably your two healthiest options. So we're going to go ahead and Coat the pan with some oil. Oh, that is sizzling. Oh, my goodness, that pan's hot. Turn that down a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna sear the chicken. I'm gonna go ahead and pop it in just because this is hot, but you are gonna help me. You are not done cooking. Not off that easy. All right. Pop this in there. Now, once this is oh, done. It looks like a square. Yeah, fancy, Can you make right? it a square? I am good. Should I make it a square? A squ or square's fun? You think it'll fit, or can I do it this way? Is it okay if I do it this way? I think I just, I don't want to, I don't want to unevenly e. cook the chicken. E. There you go. I made the letter E. Perfect. So we're going to let that cook for a minute. Now in this recipe, you cook the chicken first, and then what you do is mix everything, right? Yeah. I've got a really big bowl. Is this big enough? Um, you think? Yeah. Okay, good. I've got a really big bowl here, and I'm going to get this cutting board out. Now this is going to be for you to help me cut the chicken. Yes. Just because when I, when, I don't know about you, when I cut meats, I usually put another board on top of my, my wooden block just because it's easier to clean to worry well, about. Well, when I do it in my kitchen, yeah. I just put, we use a little wood board and we just cut it up. Cut it up? That's perfect. <laughs> Sometimes I cut onions. Do you? do you? Wait a minute. When you cut onions, do you cry? No. Are you sure? <laughs> Not even a little bit? Yeah? Sometimes onions get me. I cry like a baby sometimes. I'm gonna go right in front of you real quick. I'm gonna have you step back for one second, and I wanna get your kid Two knife nights. of choice, okay? Now I'm hoping these are gonna cut through chicken okay. I'm thinking you might wanna try that one, but we'll give it a whirl, because these are super sharp. They're not too, yeah, just, we don't wanna use that as part of the recipe, so. All right, so we're gonna cook this up. Now what we're gonna do is I have everything else I have ready for us. So I've got the rice already cooked. So what else goes in it? Do you know? And mom, if you want to chime in, we got rice. rice. What's the green part that's in there? Um, Looks like a tree. Broccoli. A broccoli. Do you love broccoli? Is broccoli super good for you? Uh -huh. and I eat it. That's I, good. Did you I eat it all the time. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Eating your fruits and vegetables makes you grow nice, nice and strong and tall, right? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to grab the broccoli. Ooh, that thing's burning. It's, it's working over there. Watch your hand before you cut yourself, is what I'm trying to tell you. you only put right. your hand right here at the bottom, okay? okay. Ooh, yum. All right, so the broccoli is first. Now these Watch are pretty much, the they're pretty much already cut into bite-sized pieces, but yeah, if you yeah. want to, if you want to look through and if you see any bigger pieces that you want to cut smaller because we're making a casserole here, so it's good to have everything kind of small and bite-sized, right? So if you want to go through, if you want to, if you see any bigger pieces, you're welcome to use your hands. You well, can use that. Get a little bigger piece, big piece, big pieces, like this right here. Grab that one. And I'm gonna go ahead and flip this chicken. And pick this one. Attempt to. I'll get it. Okay. I, you cut them and I'll pick them out, okay? Nice! <laughs> now you can add other vegetables. Your, your mom says she adds green peppers and onions sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know what I thought would be a good one? What? 
butternut squash. Have you ever tried butternut squash? No. Nope. Do you know what it is? I'm mm. going to go right behind you. <laughs> butternut squash. It's orange, so if you, if you cook this and you pureed it, made it in like into like an applesauce almost, you could put this in the dish, mix it in, and you probably would never even taste it, but it adds a lot of nutrients to the dish. That's a vitamin A. Wouldn't that be good? Uh -huh. So that's always another option, but you have plenty of things you could add to the dish to make it your own, which is pretty fun. That's what's so great about this dish. Casseroles are a great way to sneak veggies in, in your diet. Uh -huh. And veggies are healthy. And veggies are super healthy. What's your favorite vegetable? Broccoli. Broccoli's your favorite? And corn. Corn is good, especially in the summertime. Mm -hmm. Especially sweet summer corn. All right, so now what we're going to do, you've cut the broccoli into nice bite-sized pieces. Can you help me by putting that broccoli in there? Yep. Oh, I just slid it right off the plate. Now, in this recipe, we used frozen broccoli, but you could also use fresh broccoli. And it's a good to use frozen vegetables because you can keep them on hand all the time. And they're actually just as healthy as fresh a lot of times. Is that a frozen? This is frozen, but we have fresh too. So you can, you can use either one, depending on what you have. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to give this to mom, and I'm going to give you some cheese. Ooh. And what I want you to do, I don't want you to put all this in there. I'm going to mix some, OK? Yeah. And then I want you to use the tongs and stir that around while me and mom cut the chicken, OK? Wait, grab. if it's OK if I put like more cheese in there? Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll start with that. We'll start well, with that. And then the, you need some cheese to put on top of on it. On top, yeah. We want, we're going to want some to put on top of the dish, so it gets yeah, all nice like, and bubbly. You hear me? All right. So I'm gonna go right in front of you. You can that mix looks with like this. It's bleeding. It's not. It's just cooking. But it's gonna get cooked. So if you were gonna eat chicken like right out of the pan, you need to make sure it's cooked to 165 degrees. But this chicken's gonna go in a dish and get baked for an hour. So we don't have to worry about as much if it's cooked all the way through. But I'll be so. sitting down there or sitting up here while we waiting. Oh, you're gonna wait a whole hour. You have to stand here. You didn't know that? Oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and cut the chicken. You got it? So we're just going to cut it into small bite-sized pieces, right, Mom? Yep. They smell like eggs. <laughs> well, they come from the same, same source. Do you want to hear something funny? What? Do you know what I have at my house? Chickens. And they give me fresh eggs. Isn't that neat? What do you think about that? Do you know where your food comes from? Cows. Cows? Pigs. <laughs> All kinds of different sources, right? Now, you said you like to help your mom bake. So tell me a little bit about this baking that you do. Do you have, do you, is it just a passion of yours or? Well, it used to be, but now I um, have a little small business where I make cupcakes. It's called Sweet Daddies. Okay. Mm-hmm. That sounds fun. And if you get a whole dozen, you get like 30 bucks. No, they cost 30 bucks a dozen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you get to eat them, you get to sample them all the time, right? Is that right? Sometimes I cook with them. scrape it in there. Scrape, scrape. Now you gotta take your tongs and mix it all up, Should've okay? For it. And yes, this young. recipe came from my grandmother. Okay. She used to cook this when we were younger. It was a quick meal, something fast. You know, you get off of work and you really don't have a lot of time. Yeah. Whip this up real fast. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and like we were saying earlier, there's a lot of different ways you can do variations on this recipe. Add different fruits and vegetables. All right, I'm coming at you with more chicken. And this chicken is not all the way cooked, but like I said, it's okay because what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the dish. Okay, I'm going to go. It's, okay it's kind of crowded, I apologize. Yep, we're going to get to the cheese in just a minute. Slide that in there. And we got one more piece of chicken. Mom, do you want to do this one? Sure. All righty. Coming at you. Coming right over you, okay? Okay. There you go. Okay. So what do you think? Do you think we should add a little bit more cheese? We've got other ingredients coming in well, too. Well, you're putting the cheese sauce in there. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So what else is in this recipe? We've got the cheese and then we've got a Campbell's cheese soup, right? Yep. Is that something else we have? Yeah. So and what we rice. have, we have it all ready. So it's we just your- We want to put the rice in first? We can? Yeah. That's sir. Yep. What is that? The that is the soup. cheese soup. So we're going to get to that. Why well, does this thing keep on getting okay. All right, so we're going to pile this. I'm going to go ahead and dump this in. I need you to mix it for me, okay? See, whoop, that's not really working, is it? I'm gonna go ahead and use this. <laughs> that's a big one. That's a <laughs> lot of <laughs> lot of rice, right? Mm -hmm. Now this is a this is a chicken flavored rice. You can buy with any variety you want. Or I'm gonna help you break <laughs> break it up a little bit. I'm gonna clear this off. 
Break. Break a week. Break a bone. You're breaking the. We're breaking the rice. Breaking the rice. Now. Break your bones. So we cook the rice as the box said, right? Mm -hmm. So we have the chicken that you can either bake or saute, the broccoli that you can steam or use frozen, and then the rice. In this recipe, this is the rice that we use, but you guys usually use Limptons, is that yes, the one sometimes, that you use? Sometimes, I like to eat like fried chicken and yellow rice. <laughs> All right. Oh, mom, you spilled some little. It's okay. Okay, so now, what I'm gonna have you do, just to get a good mix in there, I'm gonna have you, you know how to mix with these? So what you wanna do is just, yeah. just because it'll, it'll be a little bit easier to mix it around like that, and just get in there and use some elbow grease. Get in there, mix it around. Whoop. Well, don't be careful. Don't get it out the bowl. <laughs> How about, do you want me to pour, Mom, when do you usually pour the soup yeah, in? Yeah, you can pour that in. All right, you ready? Pour some soup it's in. coming at you. Ah! This is Campbell's cheddar cheese soup. Eat. And you can use different kinds, of, different kinds of soup. That's what's in here. And to help Mom, with the well, sodium, we did choose the healthy Mom, request for one. So you can choose that if, you, if you're watching sodium or fat in this dish. You can use a lower be fat careful. version. Keep it in the bowl. Get it mixed nice and good. <laughs> Yummy. What do you think? You think it looks good? Does it look like how you make it at home? Mm-hmm. Yeah? It's good. Mm, my arm. So a few things we learned today. Casseroles are a good No, it's not over yet. You're not you're not done yet. We got remember we gotta wait the whole hour. Oh yeah. Yeah, remember? And then we're gonna eat it? And then we have to eat it. Yes. Yeah. Where are we going to eat it at? Um, we're gonna, we can try some. With the magic of TV, it's, it's ready. <laughs> Thank there you, you Mom. All right, so now after this, what we're going to do is we're going to put this in our baking dish, okay? Which you could spray with some, with some spray. I'm going to put a, I'll just do a little bit just because I don't want it to get, if we had spray, that would be a little bit easier to apply, but I don't want it to be too much oil in here. It would be better just to spray it. Um, I'm just going to do it for now just because it comes out kind of fast, so. Do you use that kind of stuff a lot? Do you do that? Yeah. I usually don't put nothing in there. You don't usually don't, bake it? Okay. Well, I mean, I usually not don't put no oil in grease there. Grease it? Okay. Mm -hmm. We're, we're going to go right to this. So how about you go ahead and do you want to use that and I'll hold it up and you push it down? Yeah. Okay. Ready? We're going to pull it a little bit away from the pan just so I'm not burning myself. All right. Go ahead. All right. Move it around. Oh, I got all that off, off Look at all this food you made. Like 15 I got that minutes. Fast. Smells all, good. I got this all f out. Go ahead. All is that, fast you got it all? Yes. Yeah. I think that's good. Okay. okay still just, splatter, just nice splatter. and easy. You're not done. Pop I'll back up. Not yet. <laughs> We're not done. You gotta wait. Okay. Now the last thing I want you to do. Wait until mom gets it all flattened out for us. Okay. So now I want you to take the cheese. You can use your fingers and just, just sprinkle, sprinkle the cheese. Don't put it in one spot. Just you do a couple of them. Okay. Just take a watch. I'll show you. Ready? I'm gonna go boop, 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 boop. The sound effect helps. Try it. Boop, 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 boop. Doesn't it? It helps, right? Mm -hmm. Just makes it more fun anyway. Boop, it's always fun being in the kitchen, right? And put it in one spot. Hey, yep. Can I put all these? We're gonna put all of that over top, yep, yeah, but just do it a little bit at a time. That way we make sure it's nice and even. Now, do you cover this when you bake this? No. You, mm -mm. So you bake it at 350 for an hour, right? Well, I'll say minutes. like between 30 and 45 okay. minutes until the cheese is melted. Okay, mm -hmm. good. So some health, healthy tips for this recipe. You want to make sure that when you're choosing the soup, if you want to make it a healthier version, you want to choose the Healthy Request Campbell's Cheddar Soup. You can also try this same type of casserole with um, the, the, the mushroom, chicken mushroom soup. There's different variations of this recipe that you could try. And you can always put in different, different vegetables to add a different flair. Um, so that, that gives you different ways that you can prepare this same recipe that Jasim and his mom brought to us today. Where am I finished? Not almost, almost. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put this in the magic oven. Can I? Watch how fast. Ready? Yeah. Damn it, ready? Ta da! Look at that! Wasn't that fast? Super fast. The magic of television. We don't even have to wait an hour to see, or wait, better yet, try. What about <laughs> It's it's like oven. Well, we're going to eat that too. <laughs> this is it. So, it's, just, it's a magic oven. It's cooked. Pretty cool, so right? It's all finished. So what I'm going to do are we, now? Are we finished? We're going to. We're going to try it, right? Yeah, and so that me, one that we made. We're going to try. We're going to. We got to cook that one. 
because all fibbing aside, well, it's not ready. Wait, All right. Is these plastic or something? They, well, they are. <laughs> Only have so much time in between, you know. Okay, ready? So it looks delicious. Look how creamy it looks. Cheese is nice and melted on the top. Thanks. All right, you're welcome. Is that a big enough serving for you? No, uh, not enough. Not enough. You're not going to eat all that. <laughs> okay, okay. We can. I can give you a little bit more if you want. There you go. Thanks. Healthy <laughs> appetite. That's good. You're growing, huh? Look how much taller you got since you got on the show today. <laughs> Look at that. Look up to your mom's shoulders. Look at that. <laughs> All right. Let's give this a try. Are you, you ready? Taste it? You want to taste it? Yeah. I want to taste it. All right. Let's see. Got to get a piece of broccoli in there. Some rice. Mmm. Nice. It's good. <laughs> Super good. When this show's done, I think I'm having lunch. What do you think? That's really good. Mm. So are we finished? We are almost done. I want to thank you for coming on the show today. Did you have fun? Mm -hmm. are you, I'm actually going to add this, this dish to my, my family recipes at home because <laughs> it was fun making. And I'm going to try different variations, maybe in a little bit, maybe in a little bit. It takes an hour to cook, so I don't know how much time you have. So what about for, like 20 minutes? 20 minutes? We, well, <laughs> your mom says about 30, so we can try it. All right, so for this recipe and all the other recipes on the Red Clay Cook-Off family style, Look you can go to redclaycafe.com. And I want to thank you guys for coming today. Is there anything you want to sign off to the camera and say? <laughs> anything you want to say to your friends at school or your mom, dad? What are you? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, you want to say something to your friends at school? It was exciting and fun. It's exciting and fun. Thank you so much for coming. And thank you for everyone for viewing the Red Clay Cook-Off Family Style. And I was a little bit nervous. <laughs> You're what? You're a little bit nervous? You didn't seem nervous. You seemed good. Well, you did a super job. And remember, you're not cooking in style unless you're cooking with family. <laughs>